Okay, so the next process, once it's fairly, as soon as it's pretty much hard, you'll want to remove it from its case. So you just peel off the edges of course, and because you've pre-cut them, you can just bend it back and pull out your mould. Now, I'm using super fine alabaster plaster, so it gives a really nice smooth finish. Uh, little bits of chip, I don't mind, I actually think they look quite good. Now I'm going to show you how to create something like this. Uh, as you can see the sides are all a little bit chipped, it's a little bit, makes it look a little bit more aged and I really like that effect. So as soon as you've turned your mould out, you'll want to take some overhead transparency paper um, and it just get the stuff depending on if you've got an inkjet or a uh, laser printer because um, you can get two different types and it's just clear film you'll want to take an image and print it out and in this case I've just printed out uh, a fairy image now while this is still quite um, you, you need to do this uh, straight away so you'll want to line up on the um, board where you want to go and then it's just a matter of burnishing it with your thumb the image and because the uh, plaster is porous it's going to remove the ink from the artwork as you will soon see in a minute so I'm just making sure and just go over any areas that um, could be enhanced and voila you've transferred the image onto your tile. Now the great thing about this is you can come back with coloured pencils or graphite pencils and just basically draw over the top um, and you can come over with watercolour you name it you can just add your own touches to it um, and so, so that's one technique and it's really simple, easy and awesome and you get fantastic results. So this is a second uh, image I've transferred onto the tile. Now what you can really do also is the original image cool huh? Ooh. The original image was just the girl and the butterfly. So what I've done is I've uh, created another stencil uh, sorry, now the transparency, just with the butterfly. Uh, I've t edited it in Photoshop and changed the colours to, to more reds and greens, whereas this one was yellow. And then basically come and just overlaid it in a new way. So you can start to build up compositions by bringing different images into the one artwork. So here I've brought a couple of those butterflies over into this work and like I said you come back with your coloured pencils or your watercolour um, paints or your acrylic paint and you can just paint in the areas uh, and add your own touches you can add more pencil lines you can really play around with the image to create something really awesome uh, I would suggest that you use copyright free images um, the images that I've used I've actually taken from a uh, 
tattoo book called Fairies. Um, well, I'm not into fairies, but it was <laughs> it was the only book in the magazine store that I thought had lots of really awesome images in it. And these are what tattoo artists use uh, to create their own drawings. So I've uh, just used these two examples um, just for demonstration purposes. Um, I won't be selling these uh, or anything like that. So just to show you guys what you can do and the possibilities are. So you can take images, manipulate them in Photoshop and really create something unique and wonderful. And like I said, you can hand colour them, add uh, whatever you want. This was a one that I haven't finished yet, but it's with um, forest animals. And I'm going to hand colour that um, as well. So good luck, have fun, uh, and that's a really cool technique. So here's a finished tile. Uh, I manipulated it further in Photoshop. I sort of doubled things up a bit and made her a bit freaky. Um, what I've done is I've just put a light pink wash over it with uh, just some uh, watered down acrylic paint and I've just applied it with a sponge and then wiped it back. Uh, it's best to leave it for a couple of days before you put a varnish over it because um, if you don't you will probably cause some of the ink that's left on the surface to actually run and it'll ruin your image a bit which I've found so just give it a day or so and then uh, you can put your varnish on uh, and it seems to be pretty good but yeah great technique easy to do uh, and you can get some nice effects the answer so my and, um, friend is blowing creating. in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind